In this video, we are going to be talking about fonts. So we are going to use our Creative Fabrica Studio for fonts. We're going to use Canva for fonts. We are going to put fonts on our computer. And so we are going to be doing quite a few things today. So let's start in Creative Fabrica. And I just went under fonts here and I went to popular styles. So let's see some new fonts that they have right now under popular styles. So let's go back here and get this again. We'll just go to all fonts here. All right, so here we go. So let's look at some really nice fonts. I do have a lot of fonts uploaded already, but I thought it would be nice to add a few to our um, to our design studio, Creative Fabrica studio, and also in Canva. Now I have this thick black and this Disney one already uploaded into my Creative Fabrica studio, so I don't want to pick that one. Ah, people are getting ready for Halloween. So this Wicked Halloween will be a fun one. So let's try that one. So I'm going to hit download here. And then we will go back and see what other fun ones they have. This hunting one is fun. I love these font duos. It's where they have two fonts that go really well together. This Cupcake Handmade. I do have that one downloaded already. So I'm not going to download that one. Um, let's do this Hello Rainbow. That's a font duo. So let's download this one. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit download again. So all this is doing is it's bringing in the zipped files right here. So when we're done, we will open these and get them installed. This spooky Halloween is cute too. Ah, ah, this daisy's cute. They're all cute. Creative Fabrica has amazing fonts. And you, when you have the all access, you can download any of these fonts that you want. And so I'll have a link below for the all access for Creative Fabrica. Let's see here. Let's do this grunge. No, let's do the spooky. Here, so we'll do this one. Just because right now it is... Uh, the end of August and we're starting to think about spooky season right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my downloads and I'm going to click on each one and I'm just going to unzip them. So I'm going to extract all, extract. Um, I could install them on the computer. So now what you do to install them on the computer so there's open type font and true type font. True type font is an older version you can use either one but I prefer the open type font so all you do is you click on it and it comes up and this is right out of the download and you just hit install let's see what this is called wicked halloween so click install and you can see that it's installing it on the computer so now I'm going to go to word and it's called wicked halloween that's my problem I can never remember fun with fonts so let's raise this up so you guys can see it make it nice and big all right so now what i do is i've got this highlighted here and i'm going to go to uh, right here and i'm going to find wicked whatever that was i always forget what they're called and it's going to be way at the bottom because it's a w Wicked Halloween right there. That's the one that we just uploaded. So now it is on my computer. This is my laptop. It's on my computer. So now you can also bring those into Cricut Design Space. Now that it's on the computer, you can go to the system fonts and you can find it that way too. So if you're using Cricut Design Space or something like that, we are not gonna go into Cricut Design Space today. So now I'm going to go to the next two and I'll do the same thing. So we got Wicked and here is Hello Rainbow Duo. So I'm going to extract these as well. And now I'm going to click on the first open type font, Hello Rainbow Duo, this one. And I'm just going to install it on my computer. You do not need to install them on your computer to use them in Canva or to use them 
in um, Creative Fabrica's design studio, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So this one's called Hello Rainbow Duo, and let's find the other one here. Hello Rainbow, the other one. I got to find my downloads here. Here it is. Hello Rainbow Signature. So we're going to do the open type font for that as well. Install. So now we have Hello Rainbow. So we're going to go back to our Word document here. And we'll change this. Uh, first of all, I'll control C, control V, and I'll duplicate it so that we can see them both. So let's go find our Hello Rainbow. Um, I should have done ones with A. Uh, F, G, H. Hello Rainbow. Here's the first one. So let's change this one. Oh, dang it. I lost it to Hello Rainbow. First one. F, G, H, Hello Rainbow. We'll change that one. Now this one will change to the other Hello Rainbow. Hello Rainbow. Get it down here. Right here, Hello Rainbow script. All right, so this one's up too high, so it's cutting it off. So all you have to do here is we need to move this down a little bit. Why is that doing that? Put the top off. But anyway, you get the gist of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Creative Fabrica, and I'm going to actually start a new one, a new design. So in Creative Fabrica, you get this. If you have the all access, you can use Studio for free. So I'm going to hit Start Designing here, and I'm going to go to Create a New Design. And over here, you can see the settings. And I actually want to use, I am going to use inches and I'm going to make this eight by eight inches. And you can go here to where it says standard web and print. See the print is 300 DPI. That is very good. So we're going to click on 300 DPI and we're going to create a design. And so now what I'm going to do, I've already done that here. And then I added a text box, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So simple. So let's add a text box here. And I will write fun with fonts again. And I'll stretch this out. Oops, if I could spell, that would be even better. All right, so let's get this made so bigger so you can see. All right, so now let's go here. Oops, I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to go over here to the side and you can see that it, it's called that font is called Poppins. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on that and we are going to hit this upload button right here. And so that'll bring us over to this screen. So now it's really easy. So all you have to do is open my Hello Rainbow here and I actually can just drag my open type font in there and that one is done. So now let's do another one. and. Um, I did this one already. So let's do another one here. Find that hello rainbow back again. Right here, hello rainbow. And we will do the other one as well. So now it shows that it's done. So now we can go in here. And when we're searching for our fonts, we can go and find hello. And we're gonna, it's going to be under your fonts, not all, but your fonts. And you can see Hello Rainbow right there and the other Hello Rainbow regular. Now, see, that worked out real good on here. It didn't work out so well on my Word document. But anyway, that's how you bring in fonts into Studio, their design studio. So now let's go into Canva. And I've already started a document, but I wanted to show you that here in Canva as well. So again, you can pick inches and I'm going to make it eight by eight and then create a new design. But I already started one. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to click the text box and we're going to add a text box. And so now right here, you can see that that text is Canva Sans. So now what we're going to do is we are going to click here. And then down here on the left, it says upload a font. So let's find one of those new fonts that we just downloaded. And let's, oh, we only unzip two. I didn't unzip the other ones. So let's unzip first here. We'll work with the other ones. Um, spooky Halloween. I guess it's only one more that I haven't unzipped yet. So let's get this unzipped, extracted. 
And now we can bring in our, uh, our spooky Halloween here. So go to upload a font and I am going to go to uh, spooky Halloween right here. And so again, I'm going to do the open type font and it's going to ask if we can use this. Yes, because I have the all access and I'm going to upload that. And here it comes in. And what was that called? I got to remember. I have a hard time remembering. Wicked Halloween. No, it was spooky something. So now I got to go find it. I can never remember what I'm uploading. Let's go in here and go to my downloads. And what was it called? Wicked Halloween. No, spooky Halloween is this one. So let's go and find that. If you're all listening and laughing at me, I'm okay with that. Um, Spooky Halloween right here. Spooky display, regular, scary and spooky. M-N-O, Pete, spooky Halloween. How cute is that text? All right, so now we got our spooky Halloween. So I am going to name that spooky Halloween. I'm going to change this text. Is it in here? Spooky Halloween. All right, so now we'll add another text box and we'll do this again. So now I'm going to move this one so that you can see it and I'm going to stretch it out and we are going to change that font. So we're going to upload another font and we will pull in one of the other ones. Hello Rainbow. So we'll do the first open type font here. Get it in. Hello Rainbow. So we got our first one coming in. Scroll down here and find... F G H I J. Hello, rainbow, right there. So you see how easy this is. So this one is hello, rainbow, regular. All right. So we got two of them in here, and um, then I'll show you some fun things. Some fun things that we can do with this as well, and we can do the same thing in our Creative Fabrica Studio as well. You can change the color um, into any color that you want. And you can, there are so many things that you can do in here. You can change the thickness and everything. But right now we're going to stay in Canva for a little while. So now I'm going to upload one more text box here. And I will bring in our other, um, our other Hello Rainbow. Let's see, Hello Rainbow signature. Here we go. So let's get that in. Yes, we have permission to use that font. And Canva and Creative Fabrica Design, the studio, they both have many uh, other fonts that you can use, but it's fun to go through the fonts and find the fun ones to use. So let's go Hello rainbow all right so let's go find this one is my n there it's fun it's fun using new fonts so let's go find our other hello rainbow hello rainbow signature there we go so i'll stretch these out and then let's have some fun with these fonts so let's move this up move these apart a little bit so that we can use them for different things so now in um, in Canva, and you can also do this, like I said, in Creative Fabrica Studio and uh, Canva, I use the Pro, so I do pay $120 a year at this time for it. Creative Fabrica Studio is free with the yearly membership, which is only 48 bucks a year, and you get all of their fonts and all of their designs. Let me go here to... Um, creative fabrica and it, i mean there are so many awesome images that you can use as well so i strongly recommend that you do get a creative fabrica account and learn to use the studio but like i said i'm just going to stay in canva right now to play with this so here we can change the color you just highlight and you can change the color something fun that you can also try is i have uploaded some images uh, actually i'll just go and upload something here i'll go to my downloads 
and I will upload, um, let's upload this one. I made this one recently. So let's upload that design and I'll add it onto another page here. So you see how that's added onto a second page. I just clicked, you know, make another page. So now when I go to this spooky Halloween and I click on the color, it shows you right here, photo colors, colors that are in this design so that you can match your colors up perfectly. So I can do, you know, match these colors up to that design that I have there. Now we can also hit effect on this and then you can go and put an outline around it and you can change the color of your outline as well to whatever you want. I'll go back to that one. And then you can make it thicker and thinner as well. There are so many things that you can do. Um, you can go in here. And like I said, I do have the Canva Pro account. So um, some of these things you do have to have the Pro account for. Canva does also have a free account. I do not think that you can upload Creative Fabrica um, fonts if you do not have the pro account, but I'm not sure if I'm wrong on that. Someone please let me know in the comments below. So let's go and we will zip on some pretty color here and then we'll thicken this up. You see how you can change the whole look. So then you can slide this up in here, uh, bring it on top or bring it below. Let's, let's make it here. And I'm going to grab this one and hit effect again here and I will do an outline again. And then you can see, um, let's change this to white. And then you can see how it gives it a different look behind what you already have. So you can make amazing designs just with fonts. So happy font hunting. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.